What's going on, everyone? Ready? Should I do a little hot sauce? We're doing some hot, hot sauce over here. We got the, this is a homemade salsa. Homemade salsa over here. Joe's homemade salsa. This is the hot one. It's not the sweet one. Like, we are live. Come over to we are coming. Test. We are coming to you live from uh, Game Changer Wrestling here. Road to Survival. It's uh, Sunday, April twenty third, two thousand seventeen. Where'd you go, Shorty? There she is. She got a nice butt. And uh, well, everybody's here doing some tailgating. Still a lot more people to come. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna open up the vlog. Came here with Stafa. Stafa, the man. Where's Laddie? Where the fuck's Laddie? Laddie's over eating fucking hard boiled eggs. This is how Laddie starts the tailgating party. Eating fucking hard boiled eggs and a fucking salad, man. Six grams of protein. Get your health up. Six grams of protein. Get your health in. And then he washes it down with what? We got those red apple things. I asked him to get an apple, some twisted teas. I'm over here drinking some dirt wolf to start off the day. Why would a Thai style chicken mango? Got some pineapples and fruit. Ooh, he's eating healthy. Gotta eat healthy, folks. Gotta, Gotta balance it out. I'm not gonna lie, I woke up eating an orange and an apple, you know? Had a little lemon lime juice today. See what else we can get in here. Probably have to pause this for a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have a little tailgate and then we're gonna go in. It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> all right, get some, we'll get some establishing shots of all the weaponry here. Can't ever have too many light tubes. It's still kind of early. We got a lot more to bring in here. Spiky, sea urchin, sea urchin. Who created that? Yes. You? No, no, that wasn't me. No. That was Scott. Where's Scott? Tim. Scott and Tim. Scott and Tim created the the sea urchin. This What's up, mostly guys? me. The spiky sea urchin. Sea urchin to do. I said I said it looks like Kirby with the spike ability. When he, I like when that. He, when he when he hits the the ability, it looks <laughs> just like that. I said before it looked like a puffer fish. I almost killed myself. I think it just looks like it's gonna fucking hurt. Oh. <laughs> We were talking to Louie before, and he said he'd totally take an ass bump on it. Nice. And not to mention the light tube, of course, can't ever have too many light tubes. We also have a container of broken glass and bottle caps. Ooh. And some piercing needles <laughs> exclusively for Viking. Oh, can I add to the collection of bottle caps? Here we go. Bottle cap. Gotta put some victory in there. Package fence. Package fence here Package working on. Package fence, let's call it. Package fence of death. Nothing like tailgating and putting the weaponry together out yes. here, man. Yes. GCW fans know how to do no. it up. Don't break the glass. Joe Look dropping his hot sauce. Look at the Look color. That, beautiful. that is right out of the garden. Jeez. That is beauty. That is this is his creation here out of his own home exactly. garden, man. You gotta film him doing a commercial too. I know, we should. We should do a take of a commercial out here. I'm Boogie Rag, Joe. <laughs> What's Schlack in my commercial? Yes, if Schlack does a commercial. Louie! Look who it is! I know you, I know you like this. Louie Ramos. Louie! Louie, look what we have for you first. To look! Oh, man. Hand over his baby. <laughs> The greatest people on the planet. Shoot the man, Larry. The greatest people on the planet. Jeff. I agree. Bow to the master. Round of applause for Loudy, everybody. Yay, Loudy. Oh, I got like seven of them in my bag, by the way. Cheers the and the some four locos, some nachos, and some homemade salsa. Mm. Better than cock. Nacho. <laughs> Louie enjoying his car. I was like, oh, fucking is it? An hour and 15 minutes. Louie, 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 Louie. No, no. One. As you can see over there by the door, that's the entryway over here to the left. People are starting to get in line. The show starts in like an hour, but it ain't going to start for like two hours. These shows are always neat. Uh, I just found this guy. Viking. Hey. Yeah. You got any crap? No, I'll take it, tabarnak. <laughs> it's coffee. It's Mr. Tremont over here. Howdy. How you doing today, man? Good. What are your next two next two shows coming up? You got a lot of shows coming up, man. Here. Well, here tonight, of course, GCW. And then Bumblefuck Tennessee next weekend. What's that show called? Uh, taco Taco Shack Extravaganza. Uh, Carnage Cup. <laughs> and a Taco Shack. <laughs> Wait, it's running out of Taco Shack. What's this guy? What's going on, Havoc? How you doing, man? 
What you I, sipping on today? I was told I'd be involved in an establishing shot where I wouldn't have to speak. That's right. I did <laughs> promise you that. Okay, I will leave you. Better be. call his agent. Laddie, I already got you eating eggs and a salad before the show starts. I told you about healthy. <laughs> My man over here, you know, he's upcomer here. So what's going on with you today? You wrestling today? Uh, yeah, you'll see. Okay, all right, all right. No spoilers, no spoilers. I don't understand. All right, we're here with Jimmy. Jimmy has brought some weaponry for the show tonight. Unfortunately, this one will be held off, and for reasons being, because. Oh, the fucking fuck. Oh, that is beautiful, man. Wait till you pick it up. No, it's that heavy. I don't even. I can. I. I, 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 I can just hear how heavy it is. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome, man. That is awesome, man. That is awesome. Oh, Jeff, that's fucking awesome. Thank you, man. You, Kevin, man. And we got some other weaponry tonight that will be used. You know, violent. Up cat. GCW. It's upside down. Seven bucks. We want to flip it. We got over here. We flip. Oh, there we go. We'll turn it around. That is just some thickness right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that girl. Yeah, yeah. A little skinny. <laughs> then this, if we were out here grilling, we could use this to flip some steaks over. We'd be good to go, man. Panzerati's. Chicken. Somebody needs to find some old power wheels. And we got over here next to the my Natty Us and the Yingling Lager. Oh, look at that, man. Would you look at that? Stop, use this. Yes, this is great. Stop, use this. What's up, man? Stop sign. Ah, more creativity at its best. I love it, man. This is an awesome selection here. Thank you for this, man. This is my board on this. Board this. This is great board. Right? Yeah, yeah, I did. I got that. Did you get the railings? Yes, I did. I got all of it. There's the bad boy. Go get the bad boy now. Yes. Wait, is the bad boy arriving? Hold on. Let's go get the bad boy real quick. The bad boy has just arrived. He has celebrity fame all over his face. After coming off of GCW's most successful show, Joey Janelle's Spring Break, the most successful show of WrestleMania, it was beautiful. And there he is, he's arriving. Joey Janela. It's me, it's me. I thought you it's you. <laughs> I thought you meant the boogie rag. And then that bad boy, J.O.E. Like after the match or whatever. I'm fucking spent. I'm like, be more like, be I'm still drunk. You know what I mean? That's all right, we're getting there. That is Hoover 2 Rare, I believe, arriving. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. Right? Just, right? Uh, Isn't that standing around out here, and uh, there's the juice. Yeah, man, that's fucking awesome. We got to roll it out. And you're over here double fisting, aren't you? Already, early. You double fisting, son of a bitch, ring announcer, man. I mean, <laughs> would you expect anything different? No, it, no, of course not. Are you doing commentary tonight, too? Yeah, man. Oh, we are privileged to have you doing both tonight. No, I'm, I'm not ring announcing. That will be uh, Low Life Louie. Oh, Low Life Louie's going to be. Oh, even better, man. Yeah, it's awesome. And I, I just get to sit back here and say funny things. Yeah. <laughs> so. uh, you want to end this with anything? What do you got to say? Hmm? You want to end this this part? What do you got to say? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so you want to shout out what you do to Dojo Wars? Come on, oh, man. I mean, I, oh, I didn't know I could do all that. Yeah, you can do whatever oh, okay. the fuck you want hey, on this camera. Uh, <laughs> shit. Every Wednesday is Dojo Wars at uh, the CZW Dojo. Um... 110 Harmon Drive, Suite 304, every Wednesday at 8 o'clock. We're coming up on our three-year anniversary. That's going to be huge. Uh, and uh, bigger and better things on the rise for Dojo Wars at CZW Dojo Wars on Twitter. YouTube.com slash Dojo Wars 1. Check it out. Follow, subscribe, share, and all that. Thank you. The man. Slack. <laughs> oh, oh no! it's the cowboy hat. <laughs> Wait, we can't say anything. <laughs> Some cones. Oh, we have the lovely Penelope Ford arriving, I believe that is. I can't tell. She got paparazzi around her. Let's go up to her. You are the paparazzi. I'm the paparazzi here. I don't want to. I mean, I do, but Penelope, Penelope, I'm the paparazzi. What will you do next, Penelope? Uh, I'm gonna just stand on the outside of the ring. Okay, all right. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, where are you going with those tubes, Jimmy? I claimed them. You, they're yours now? Yeah, they're mine. Okay. And again, there's the fabulous. Oh shit! She said she was only saying ringside tonight. Damn it! Don't do that, Penelope. I'll see you. You can find people in there. All right, the tailgate is getting out of control over here. Stauffer's about to drink a whole bottle of hot sauce. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs>
saucer right out of the garden. Everybody. Okay. All right. Everybody needs to put enough on there to taste. Got to get Joe's sauce here, man. Get that, get that, get that orange. Absolutely delicious. Homemade hot sauce. Try it. Homemade hot sauce. Homemade hot sauce. Get it here first. I do most of the growing now. I got my wife. How is it? Missionary brother. How is it? You could sell this, man, right? Okay. It's so good. But I don't know what I'm doing. Because the heat comes in about three seconds later, but it's not too much. It's perfectly done. That's so nice. I should get Kirk in on this because Kirk could barely. Habanero. Kirk's the only guy that I've ever beaten. Oh, with the garlic, I could probably tolerate it. Here we go. So, I mean, it, it ain't like. It's mostly pepper. It ain't mostly garlic. Yeah, that's got a nice little like garlic smell to it. That's but, nice. But I mean, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Um, Eat that shit up, son. You understand? <laughs> you understand that I can't bitch out because there's a camera yep. going on. All right. Ain't that right, so about, no, oh, listen, man. Somebody's about to do get skewers like in their head. I can do this. Or their ass. Yeah, what kind of man would you be complaining about eating some hot stuff if people are in there getting? I put worse in my mouth this weekend. Oh. Um, no, not this weekend. Last weekend. <laughs> It's been a blur. That is stuff he did with Jeff. That was straight up heat shit. No, he's talking like, about was, a cop. It was all like, reaper shit. Yeah. Alright, so as you can see, they're starting to let the fans in. Uh, there's going to be an early meet and greet with uh, certain wrestlers. I believe Hubitu, Guerrero. Uh, Necro Butcher is making an appearance, and of course the, the wrestlers of GCW as well, all of them. Uh, and uh, we're still going to do some more tailgating, so uh, we're not in this tailgating yet. This is a step up. What are we getting ready to start in there? It ain't that time. Nah, it's greets right now, meet and greet. I like that salsa. I never got any of your salsa, I don't think. Have I? I got your don't think so. jam. I think you got the relish. The relish. No, that's good with it. That's just a... Uh, Probably a habanero mango. Ugh. There's always garlic. Don't you think he should be distributing this stuff? Yeah, I think so. That's good stuff. And then we go to straight up heat. <laughs> you gonna make him do the heat too? You gotta go through the levels. I'm dying right now. Pour this in your cuts after you get off. <laughs> We haven't seen you sample none of this. Give me the camera. Let's go, man. I'll sample it. The last one's a little spicy. I don't spicy. mind hot, but... Get a good chunk on there. The last one? It's a little spicy. What's this? That's pretty good. What's this? Pickle? What's this? this oh, jal jalapeno. Mmm. Mm. I'm messy. <laughs> <laughs> we all are when we eat it. It's alright. <laughs> good? Alright everybody, I'm here with you all know him. It's yeah. Joey Janelle, man. That's good. Cool. Fucking bad, bad boy. Um, go so how are you feeling after coming back from a very successful trip out to Florida? For, uh, in my opinion, I watched it live on FlowSlam.tv. It was definitely, it stole the whole WrestleMania weekend, man. I enjoyed it more than WrestleMania. It's crazy to say that, but I really did, dude. It just, uh, just keeps on going, you know. I, I was at uh, AIW on Friday and uh, Evolve last night, and the spring break shirts are... Oh, dude. And all over the place. And Stauffer, he's the one that, you know, help, you know, got him to put them together. He's doing an excellent job with it, man. I plan on purchasing one today, man. Does he have them? Yeah, he does. He's got them in there. He's selling them today, man. So dude, if you guys. I didn't even get one. <laughs> I didn't get a shirt from. They wanted to take the banner from me. I stole the banner. I'm not giving it back. You guys want to try some hot shit over there? No, you can keep that. That's my, that's my show. Salsa, hot sauce. It has my name on the banner. But you don't even have a fucking shirt yet. What the fuck, Stauffer? I'll give it a shot. That's why I have the banner. It's all right. My mom loves it. Oh my god, that was hot. Oh, the sauce? She, she's trying the ha ha one that uh, Joey just tried. <laughs> <laughs> it's affecting him too right now. But I just want to say congratulations on all your success, man. And uh, we're going to enjoy another GCW show tonight, guys. See you in there.
Next level. Hey, hey Larry, we're doing the vlog, man. I know, man. Now, What's going after on? seeing the work that you did at Cage of Death, I am down for the cause because I feel like when AR and I were there, I was like, yeah. hey, these guys, what's going on here? What are we doing? Beautiful you know? thing, beautiful no, moment, I man. I love your coverage. Keep it up. I love the way you maneuver, too, because you started out out there and then slowly but surely you know and by that time of the night we're all over the place that it doesn't matter just stick a camera in someone's face and they're on like i am right now yes. i'm running super late but, um, i'm looking forward to watching the uh the entire masterpiece of the day thank you man survival man keep doing what you're doing thanks bro i appreciate it man all right everybody is still trying joe's hot sauce and everybody is very pleased what do you think? It's a cinnamon first yeah, time. That's, 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 yeah. The first taste I get, the first taste I get is a cinnamon. That's what I said, yeah. Like a, a sweet, a sweet cinnamon. You get one, do you think yeah. he could actually this distribute is, honestly, this, yeah, uh, yeah, honestly? Yeah, this, this is, is a video. video. You're You're video. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's a food, yeah, it's, it's a food video today. Need. We're tailgating and doing food reviews out here at Joe's Side uh, 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 Distribution isn't as easy as you think it is. <laughs> oh, I know. This is, in his free time, he makes a jar of it. You know, distribution, you're looking at a massive, massive thing here. And it's, uh, it's not really hot until after it's already, your tongue burns a little bit. But it's not horrible. The sweet cinnamon. The cinnamon is oh, very nice. Yes. Now you know how good yes. I love it. Yes, I love it. Yeah. I have a silver sharpie that's inside. I'm I got a shot. Yeah, this was, my, this was my uh, Stolfer that. wants Necro to sign the first TOD DVD. Not just TOD, but this was the first time I was ever at CCW, and I've been trying for years. <laughs> trying for years to come to CCW. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, this is the fucking butcher, and I don't fucking one, know it. Nobody uh, fucking tells me. Oh, you didn't know that was that? No, <laughs> no I did not. You got my nose running. You got my nose running. Salsa's killing me. Did the, did the yellow collared shirt give it away that it wasn't him? Possibly not him? How did that answer? <laughs> Flavor, come in uh, well, the after it, it doesn't burn your tongue when it's in your mouth. Well, what's your first name, buddy? John. J O H N. J O N. Okay, John. Uh, J O N. The gay way. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, John Snow is J O N. I'm, I'm just I, think. Kidding, I appreciate that so much. No problem, buddy. There you go, Thank Keller. you so much. Thank Thank you in my hot sauce so there. Of course, of course. <laughs> Only if you give me something to take home. Oh, yeah, sure, you might get it. I might not. I like the first one for sure. Uh, this sun is fucking. The second one was good, but it was hot. We'll see how this one Where'd you pick the pipe up, bro? Middle work. Middle work. Don't fuck it up, son. I'm not trying to. Sign. Freaking out right now. Like, what the fuck is going on? If you're telling me. I need a few more moments. Give me some of the first salsa. All right, I think the show is starting. As everybody's over there surrounding Necro, I'm going to go in there and see what's going on before I miss something good. So let's go in and see what's going on. Now, I'm going to hand this thing over to the bad boy and see what he has to say.
offer. Show started, man. What are you doing? I'm out here with you. <laughs> I know, I know. I can't believe it. I got the car. I'm going to bring my cooler in there in the back. Hi, I live here in Pennsylvania. Joe, what'd you get? Joe, would you get some peppers on my cooler? <laughs> I lick that off there. <laughs> and now you can carry on. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. so much going on in this match right now I just cannot possibly keep up so again you guys got to get the DVD
All four men making their way back into the ring. Either team's match here. I still want to know what's going to happen here with that door.
And then like, totally, totally cool, cool. <laughs> like they were there when we got there. All right, as they're still doing some tailgating, I'm gonna go back in. I just came out here for a quick smoke because you can't smoke inside buildings in New Jersey because it's illegal. But you can smoke crack cocaine in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> This is a, a <laughs> moment right here, man. Slack and neck row. a full set of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute, you're missing the front one, yeah, so yeah. maybe put my... I have this here. We'll call them loners. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's awesome. I think you're smoking a cigarette. You smoking a cigarette? <laughs> Whose Budweiser is this? That's my light. That ain't his light. That's my light. That ain't his by the way, brother. God damn it, Stalver, that cost me $40. I didn't even mean for that to happen. That ain't mine. It's all right. Damon and I just bought a piece. It didn't break. It didn't It's all right. No, the tripod part did. It's all right. I just bought a piece for this, and now it's broken. Damn it, Stalver. I swear, I only spent $3. It's already broken. It's all right. By the way, great match, brother. That was a great match. Thank you. Is that the one you think is mine? Every. That ain't it. So much stuff is happening right now. Oh my God. You gotta rewind this. Yeah, open your car. Listen to it. Rewind it right now. No, I can't. I gotta get in there and film. I know, but I'm saying rewind this. You'll be like. Damn it, Stalver. I said, watch this. <laughs> I smashed it, but I didn't mean to. I stopped. It's all right. No, it's fine. The and light works. Why did it? Wait, it's why the tripod part broke. It's no big deal. It's all good. Don't sweat it. I'm fucking. My heartbeat is racing. It's okay. Here, it's put this all back in there, though. It smells like skunk. <laughs> This is the reason why GCW is what it is today. These are the two owners of the company. Just want to say thank you. Brett's not going to hit me with a tube or anything.
guys, I completely missed that spot with Necro Butcher's lights here. We were outside. You get the DVD, guys. Awesome. said yes. So, we have a lot of people here tonight, as you can see, and I know you're blowing up, it's been a long time, but it was pretty cool to see the Necro Butcher back in action. And it's an honor, Dylan, as a longtime friend and fan of yours, like everybody here, to have you do it here tonight at GCW. So, I talked to Danny and some of the guys, and I wanted to present you with a gift. of Somerset Patriots manager, Sparky fucking Lyle.
match is on its way, you see more weaponry is being brought into the ring. And that is a fucking casket.
This is a prime example of what Game Changer Wrestling is all about. Ultra violence to a whole other level here, folks. There is no fucks given between either of these opponents here. As you see, this will just continue until one man cannot stand any longer. picked up a chair, the least wary some weapon of their arsenal. Marcus Crane is struggling to get up right now. Jimmy and Marcus are both an absolutely bloody match. As he asked for the chair for the fans. And who doesn't love to participate in ultra violence being a fan like myself? As you hear every step Jimmy makes, it's just complete, complete broken glass. Broken light tubes everywhere. Hard wire, you get tripped up. Marcus is struggling to get to his feet. But he's got some. This does not look good for Jimmy. Jimmy's fighting back. Mark is up. Oh, they're tangled in that barbed wire. Jimmy has got. No, it's Marcus's hair. No, it's Jimmy's hair that's caught in the barbed wire. No fucking way here, folks. Oh, that guy has got to be it. That's got to be it. Count him out as they are both tangled up. Two wrestlers tangled in a barbed wire match since Terry fucking Sabu in 97, I believe it was. This is absolutely brutal. You gotta get the cutters in there, they are cutting them apart. This looks so familiar. 20 years ago, ECW, Terry Funk Sabu. No rope barbed wire that much. This isn't a no rope, but it's just as much worse. As the light tubes get involved. Jimmy, help them! Inviting me into the front row here. All for you. Thank you, David. I love the man. Oh, oh, oh. Chair shot. Chair shot. Chair shot. Chair shot. To the Marcus Green. Set it on fire. Absolute bloody yes. disaster. Oh. Oh. Rail shot. Rail shot. Rail shot. Rail shot. Rail shot. Jimmy has got now the Clippers. Oh. And he's using the Marcus Green as well. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. The blood. <laughs> Jimmy and Marcus are two of the most ultraviolet wrestlers I have ever seen today. Absolute pandemonium bloody massacre here. Get the lid out of there first. Get the lid out. Get the lid out is a great band. I saw them a couple weeks ago. An old Terry Funk moment right here. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Terry looks them out. Fucking shit. I got it. Holy shit. Yes. Yes. 
That is a beautiful stop right there. This match is going to be coming to a quick stop soon. I believe it's almost over. It's got to be. I don't see what else they could possibly do here in this match. Let's get some fire going. Fire! No, oh, the only thing that could ever be worse. I don't see that happen. I think that would be a bad idea. Mark is crazy. Jimmy Loiter on the car, on the railing here. Mark goes down. Jimmy, Jimmy says his name and he's excited. And Marcus Thompson. Oh no. Head first into the casket. Could this be it? are fighting out their long hair in a barbed wire match is not a good combination. Marcus Crane Marcus! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest is the player Marcus piss in the woods I was gonna go piss on this uh, this house over here but I heard it there's kitties that live there wild kitties and I don't want to do that even though they piss all over my stuff I should just piss on it but they're not the kitties at my house so they don't deserve that good kitties good wild kitties I just took a piss while I create more piss of this basically tastes like piss you know I was drinking craft beers earlier but you know hey man you drink what you can afford these days Natty Ice GCW Oh, I heard it. You gotta get it with your truth. Oh, no, fuck that. Turn it sideways. That's how I'd always do it. Let me oh. open it with my eyes. After sock. all that. Let me try it. <laughs> I'm I got scared. it down oh, now. Uh, uh, I got it down it. now. Can John do it? Turn it sideways. You hold the top like a cock. You let the finger out and you do it. He got it. Oh, my God. There you God. go. You got it. Oh, oh yeah. Whoa. Thank you. <laughs> I learned it from <laughs> Can I get a cheers here, Mr. Necro? Of course, of course. They're, cheers, brother. They're discussing the flat earth theory over here. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on that bullshit. You, you're not right. You, you do not. I know as an intelligent man like yourself, you don't believe in that shit, right? Oh, my God, <laughs> Like you're a book reader. I've read your profile, but you're a big book reader. This man is not only brutal in the ring, but he's very intelligent. Don't let don't let him fool you here, guys. Double A for the
as Viking has some two chairs in the ring. Looks like he's going to set these two chairs up with that sheet of glass with the cards loaded on it. Not sure what else is on there. But something is on there. It's a sheet of fucking glass. Black is going under the ring and looking for more weaponry as the fans help him to see what he cannot see without light. It can be very dark in the end times. Gideon! sometimes. Here with Jimmy, you saw his match earlier. Again, absolutely brutal. I mean, I'm not surprised by you. Since I ever first saw you, like I never went to Dojo Wars, but I watched a couple videos and I was like, this man looks like he has a lot of potential, and he looks like he really. You've proven that again tonight, my man. And 
Fuck. I don't know what else to say. You got anything you want to say? Yeah. I don't know. It was, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I liked your, uh, your promo too, man. The bomb. Thank you. That was entertaining as fuck, man. Appreciate What's the director's name again? Uh, uh, John Carlo. He's so talented, dude. He's so good at what he does, man. Yeah. Look forward to keep seeing you doing what you do, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jimmy. All right, Jimmy's talking to me off camera. I said, can you tell this story on camera right now? Good. So I was in the match. I started stabbing him with wire cut cutters. And, like, I wasn't really going to lick the thing. Like, I was going to gimmick it. So then I pull it across. And I'm like, and I start tasting blood. I look at the thing, and the thing's covered in blood. <laughs> Have you never gone down on a woman before and she had some blood down there? No. Yeah. If you did, I'd feel sorry for you. Sorry, Jimmy, to bring that up me inappropriate. <laughs>
Is this their patented? Oh, Penelope back with the Great match between Janela and well, Penta, I believe, is the first time competing together. That was awesome, man. Again, like I'm gonna keep telling you guys, Smart Mark video, get it, get the DVDs, guys. Seriously. Bear. Musician. No, the musician guy. Hey, yeah, actor on the bike. He's a point name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you came all the way from Montreal. Oh, Canada. Okay. Necro, okay. Canada. Now Joey Janela. That's how you take a bump over there. See Necro. That's a real bump, pissing in the corner and partying with all your fans, man. It's a real bump. Choose piss. Cheese, 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 cheese
little spots like that in a wrestling company. GC fucking W. Holy shit! Oh, and it continues. One, two, two. Once again, seconds later, Danny picks up another bolt of light.
another absolutely brutal match by GCW. Stop wearing sandals to these shows, TJ. I mean, my face was protected. My eyes were tonight. With my cool glasses, you know, all that. But, I mean, uh, I think I'm always going to wear glasses now. These are not goggles, but they're close enough. Great match, guys. Thank you. You all know this motherfucker here. It's fucking slack, dude. By the way, your promo was probably one of the funniest promos I've ever seen in a while. Why are you so good at what you do with the pro? Like, what, you gonna take acting classes or something? Ah, uh, lots of drugs. Lots of drugs. Giddy him! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll leave it short. Slack lost his keys. We gotta find his keys, man. And he pointed out my my shit's bleeding, but you know, I said, who gives a shit? <laughs> when you see those men, what they do in the ring, this is minor crap. Or people out here complaining about hot sauces. Hot. This sauce is too hot. <laughs> We're in a deathmatch tournament or deathmatch show. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Hey Joey, is this a familiar environment to you? Yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> but just do it. <laughs> Don't does that look about, familiar uh, to you or anything? Yeah, I, 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 don't don't recall. I think I like, Jimmy Lloyd jumped off or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it was Jimmy Lloyd. Yeah, Jimmy, Lloyd Jimmy, Jimmy Lloyd off. Jimmy Lloyd off. That's what happened, right? That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy, yeah, if you ever attempt to do that is. spot, don't do it again. If you ever get thrown off that roof, I will personally blackball you for this. No, Jimmy, yo, top it and go up to the fucking chimney, dude, and just go from the chimney, bro. If you go to the chimney, I'll let you do it. I'll let you do it. There's the pipe. You don't like that shit, huh? <laughs> Fine craftsmanship. How'd you come up with the feather in the hat? Where'd that come from? I filled a pheasant with a black powder revolver. <laughs> That's all that was left. Uh oh. <laughs> and what is your name? Tell the audience here who you are. John, just some. Just John? Yeah, just some guy hanging around. Who'd you come here with, John? <laughs> you came here with. You came here with Necro Butcher? Uh, he forced me. He forced you to come. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary Necro, Joey Janelle, J Joey Janelle and Penelope Ford all together, man. Now that Penelope. match we had when you before, jumped man. Penelope. Yeah, man. Penelope, 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 hey, Penelope. I have a drink of Natty Ice. It's the classic beer that everyone enjoys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, Penelope. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 All right, so Penelope is not critical of the Natty Ice. She's told me just now that she's actually drank Old E. Old E. Yeah, you are. No, guys. Joey is a lucky man right here. This is a classy woman. Classy. Well, I mean, you are always, classy. I always go for two. I finish the first one, and then the second one somehow always ends up on the ground. But it never breaks. Well, not the classic, I think. Did you ever do every 40 hands where you're like electrical tape no. before? Like, you're too small to do it. Yeah, you were. Yeah. I had a hard time doing it. So. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, I would probably <laughs> freak out too, like, with them both like, taped to my hand. I'd be like, <laughs> We did it one day where we wrapped uh, thumbtacks around the bottle and did this, like, that. Like, I did it like an idiot. Oh, there's enough room stuff, so. for it. Yeah, yeah, let's <laughs> let's intertwine drinking with ultraviolet rinse. I would take them and just be like, smash them so I can get my pants down. Yeah. Well, you can't sound the piss to urinate, guys. Well, Don't be all perverted and shit. You know. I'd rather have bloody hands, which happens tonight. I know. Yeah, you're used to this shit. You can't expect anything else. That was the first time I bled. Really? Yeah, and it was my hand. <laughs> like those little. The can I be gross and say you bleed other way? I'm a woman. I love you for that. Thank you, man. But no, seriously. Joey, you guys are so talented. Yeah, I love watching this couple too. Yeah, it's great. When you do like the, the backflip spot that you guys do, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, except for today. My knee. Oh, uh, your knee? Yeah. Right on the chair. Oh, yeah. oh. I like rolled right out of the ring. Like, it still came out good. And successful general spring break. As you can see, uh, every asshole over here is wearing t shirts. <laughs> and where we you're moving to Canada. I'm fucking Joey. I was looking at you, my eyes are And where, yeah, where he, it all started, where everybody started to know who the fuck Joey Janela was, or is now, you know. So, thank you, Joey. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it is. Alright, for the hell of it, let's just show this area again of just how high it is, give you an idea. Let's pick the worst spot of my face under me and drink this natty ice. <laughs> Alright everybody, it's main event time, here we go. Something different, light tubes hanging from the rafters. This is our main event this evening. The referee for the main event is Chris Levin.
many light tubes during a main event of GCW Ultraviolet Wrestling here.
what's going on, but it looked as if a part of that light tube had gone in Matt Tremont's eye. And that can be a very serious injury. He is not done yet. I guarantee you he'll be back in this ring. We're holding the Game Changer Wrestling Championship title belt here. And Matt Tremont will not give that up that easy.
assisting the referee here as they cannot quite get the light tubes off the ropes. Nothing like a fan participating in the action here. Gotta get more involved with the fans than this, guys. And he's got one free. He may even have broke his collision. Tremont brings Supreme back into the ring here. Can't really call it a ring. I'd rather call it just a bunch of broken fucking glass. Because every movie you make, you're bleeding. And you're being cut repeatedly. Somebody tied those tubes too tight. Electrical tape. Matt Tremont piles up some tubes on Supreme. Is he going up on a turnbuckle? Yes, he is, folks. As Bailey damages his man's body as he just doesn't give a fuck. Keep it up! 
Supreme. Thank you. my beer up off the ground, there might be some lights in there. Light tube. You did? Wait, did you find Schlack skis? Oh no, Schlack might be riding with us tonight, guys. Absolutely brutal, guys. Again, like I constantly keep saying, you need to get to an ultraviolet wrestling show, especially when it comes to Game Changer Wrestling. I love my Combat Zone Wrestling CZW. I love the other independent circuits that I am familiar with down the area by me, OPW, H2O, Matt Tremont, uh, Laddie's company that I even came here to show with, Laddie. But GCW, man, on a whole other fucking level, dude. Ultraviolet wrestling at its finest right here, man. I love the old-fashioned wrestling, but I love this, you know I love this brutality, guys. So let's go back out to the parking lot and see how Necro Butcher's doing. He's still out there. Sweep it up, asshole, Stolfer, sweep it up. Sweep it up, asshole, sweep it up. That's my ride home right there, guys. <laughs> I was gonna say I didn't have any light for this because Stolfer broke my light. Well, let there be light. By the way, he's sweeping up glass you can in the ring. The gods right now, let there be light. Oh but I want to say, by the way, Brett. John. Give me a second, don't go right. No, 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 hold on. John. Great See show, by the way. That's all I want to say, that's it. Thank you, brother, thank you, man. Right you have to handle He's got a lot of shit to do. When you're running a company, you got a lot of shit you gotta take care of, man. Another awesome show by GCW, like I said again. Thank you, Brett, thank you, Danny. Keep it going, man. Next up is uh, the Tournament of Survival, man. I was here last year for that spot. My first tournament, or GCW show ever, Tournament of Survival. Joey Janela's Andic bump. What do they have in store this year, guys? I got my front row ticket already, man. I'm sure the front row is sold out, but you still get tickets. So get on it. All right, everybody. I'm here with Matt Tremont. He's I look like shit. <laughs> we all look like shit at times, but, you know, you just had a death match. So, I mean, uh, you have an excuse, dude. <laughs> Okay. I, I can't believe you and Supreme just went in there, man. You know, Supreme can barely walk as it is. Where my camera? And I see you as you get older. You, know, you, got, you got a lot of moves. I know you do, man. But you guys try to save yeah, Thank you for that. You know, there's a lot of light tubes involved in that. You know, well, definitely a lot. A lot, a lot. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. I was still oh, yeah. satisfied 100%. Oh, and, uh, oh, so. and right? Tremont has a show coming up. OPW, his company. Uh, Survival of Sickest yes. on May 6th. Yes. We're all going to fucking We're going to be there, there motherfucker. Yeah, this awesome. man here, he's always fucking there. And it's going to be a brutal fucking show as always. And you got to go out there and support your India. And that's his wife you were to give him the finger. Don't no, that wasn't a fan or anything. That's, she's okay to do that. <laughs> we have nothing for love for you, man. Because they're all fucking stupid. And they do this dumb shit for your entertainment. But I'm the one that has to deal with it afterwards. But the one man he's going against pretty soon. He's coming. Oh, Onita. Oh, 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 yeah, I can't oh. forget to mention Onita, oh, by the way. Onita. Oh, at Sushi Onita. I grew up watching him trading tapes in the late 90s, and to see you about to have a match with him is truly, 
The John, most coolest yeah, thing yeah, ever, man. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter, you can just show up. You two yeah, talking on the mic. I'm like, yes, it's that social you need. It's <laughs> fucking it's that tree on the ring. It's gonna be awesome, man. And uh, CCW is doing that match, and it's what is it? Uh, August fifth. August fifth. That's uh, what is that? Uh, Warsies. Yes. Warsies. Yes. Okay. Warsies, and it's gonna be fucking brutal, man. And. Uh, like I said, just respect this man. We love what he does. Dude. I appreciate it, guys. And I'll leave you alone. We'll smoke these stogies and we'll get the fuck out of here. Thank you, guys. All right, there is an impromptu match up here in the parking lot. No, Brett has has backed down immediately. <laughs> By the intergender match here, he will not fight a lady. We all know that. Oh, yeah, that he's a flower. <laughs> a flower. Oh, it's a flower. It's so pretty. Uh, Brett, did you smell this flower? Oh, this is <laughs> <good>. <laughs> oh, I was hoping Brett would come in. He's a pussy. Brett doesn't fight women. He's a good man. All right, everybody. There's another artist here. He's been putting uh, independent wrestling together here. And we're crowded behind. <laughs> but he's been putting together uh, a lot of images today. He's a very talented photographer. He actually took a couple of images of me. I never, unfortunately, saw him because they're going to be in the book. He took a couple of me at Ultra or CZW's Tournament of Death this, this past year. I was up on a ladder and made me sign a release. And all. Yeah, he's very yeah. professional at what he does. And he knows what he's doing. He's in. He's in the book already. So what are you trying to accomplish here, young man? So I'm a photographer. I do books. I work with a bunch of different magazines. Um, I did a book prior where I lived in all the legal brothels in Nevada for five years. And now I'm spending the next these past couple of years uh, touring around and photographing death matches around the country with independent promotions and so the book is we're putting it together now it's called American Ultraviolence uh, you can see it under my Instagram uh, Mark McAndrews uh, or at Institute Artists is the agency that's sort of uh, we're, we're sending it around shopping around with the publishers and they're helping with the layout and doing all that stuff doing the whole process of putting a book on ultraviolet wrestling it, together. It's certainly something original that nobody has done before. As I watch you, like as a fellow artist myself, like I love watching what you do. I'm just like, hey man, this guy's taking it legit, doing his thing. I was like, I love it, man. And I'm really looking forward to it, so. Yeah. Another reason I want you to do it so I can remember it because I've been drinking all night. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can look back and go, how the fuck do I find this man? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You, no, it's going to be great. It's portraits of all the wrestlers. It's uh, audience. It's behind the scenes kind of stuff. Do you have an um, official release date anytime yet? We don't have an official release no, date because we're still shooting. I'm doing yeah, a couple it's, more it's, tournaments this year. Oh, yeah. You got a whole deathmatch uh, summer here, dude. Yeah. yeah there's yeah, like yeah. four or five in June. So like, it, it's hard to keep up with all that stuff, yeah. man. There's so many, and there's so many good ones, so go and follow them. You're lucky to be doing it now because, I mean, five, ten years ago, this wasn't a thing. It was maybe like one a year. Now it's like, oh, there's so many companies now. So you're, but it's, it's, you're at the perfect time to do all this, dude. Yeah. And such great talent, and such, like, the wrestlers just put everything into it. Oh, yeah. They, they, the way as a wrestling fan I am, I don't know if you're a wrestling fan, yeah, but yeah. Like, I personally like to see people put their bodies on the line, mm -hmm. and that's what entertains me more, the high-risk stuff. Not going in there with plastic mats and all that. It, that's nothing that entertains me. When I was a kid, maybe, but now I'm an adult. I like I want to see high risk. And, yeah. I don't know. The talent and the skill to be able to pull off some of these moves. I keep showing people because I'm introducing it. You know, in in the sort of general photo world that I run in, this isn't like a thing. This isn't like people don't really yeah, necessarily. That's what like know Vice in the documentary. Yeah, is yeah. Because like, there is no genre. Like there is the. How do you find this? It's like indie wrestling. Even then, it doesn't really help you. Yeah. You have to really be looking for Did it. Did Slack find his shit yet or no? No, he's still looking for it. Oh, yeah, right. But again, I want to thank yeah. you for what you're doing, man. I look forward to it. And again, what's the site again that we can find you at? Uh, my name's Mark McAndrews. You can see it on my, a little bit on my website. You can go to <laughs> Institute Artists. is the agency that has the whole everything. And you can follow me on Instagram at Mark McAndrews. Uh, it's Mark M-A-R-C McAndrews. Thank you, Mark. Great. Thank appreciate you me. so much. Thanks, guys. Guys, check him out in the future, please, man. He's going to do big things for this. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. you. We'll see you later. You're Marcus, man. I love what you do. No, I love what you sure. do. No. <laughs> <laughs> you said for me to say I love no, what you do. I want to tell you that I love what you do, man. No, I do love what you do. Tonight's match is brutal as always. Double fist and son of a bitch. Cheers, yeah. my man. I fucking hate barbed wire. It's my least favorite uh, thing ever. Dude, the, the tangling in the hairs was actually brutal. I was going to say that's why I'm Terry Funk when he would that's have That's why I'm glad I don't fucking have long hair anymore, man. That shit would not get the fuck off me. You and Jimmy need to do a fucking hair, hair, <laughs> Bruce the Barber Beefcake movie. Who's going to cut my hair? <laughs> I ain't cutting my hair. I got two fucking giant cuts in the back of my goddamn head, so I look like I have fucking horns. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get Jimmy to cut his hair. Jimmy's hair's a lot longer than yours, so we should cut Jimmy's Jimmy hair. Jimmy was fucking Robert De Niro's grandson in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> and look how far he's fallen. Right, Mars, it's good talking to you, brother. <laughs> I love, gonna, nothing but love for you, man. I love I'm you, dude. I'm gonna try to go find out where my hotel and these strippers are. <laughs> my man, dude.
All right, everybody, we're still outside of the GCW arena. I think it's like 10 o'clock now. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not funny stuff. It's not, funny. <laughs> it's not though. Unfortunately, <laughs> Schlack had to go to the hospital uh, for some injuries. I mean, they're taken care of there, but he also, on top of that, lost his key to his van. <laughs> so, <laughs> stall for good laugh because Schlack and him are tight. He does his tatties and stuff. But uh, now we're going to go pick him up and we're going to bring him home. And then uh, we'll figure it out from there, man. I don't know if we vlog anything else. Where are you picking him up at? hospital yeah, yeah we're, we're not mention any hospital but I don't know maybe I'll take a couple of videos if not you know the story and you know see what these guys endure when they they go in the ring they always risk injury dude so appreciate these motherfuckers dude and now he's got to figure out what he's gonna do with his fucking van too like what the fuck Joe comes up with a fucking cowboy hat yeah they, <laughs> Joe's got giddy up we're looking for slacks <laughs> fucking keys because he's all fucked up slack we're only filming we gotta us. pick him up in the hospital we're only filming this because we love you man it's nothing hate and man. we can't find him we looked everywhere <laughs> so giddy up oh wait they come in giddy up <laughs> i'm on the wrong angle oh shit it's gonna be a long night we don't have to live here <laughs> All right, so all three men want to go inside and, and sign for Schlack. I'm saying you're probably going to have to sign with him for a 24-hour lease. He seems to be doing okay from what Stauffer told me. Hopefully, all right, Schlack. You know, we love you. Just sitting outside the emergency room. Nothing normal. Just waiting for uh, Stauffer, Loudy, and Joe to get Schlack. To have him released, man. Nothing out of ordinary here. Just a normal day at uh, ultraviolet wrestling here. You gotta piss, you gotta piss, hospital or not. I had to move the car, I was forced to. Even though I'm coming up on my second DWI, probably wasn't a good idea after having a couple drinks, but I was fine, it's about 20 feet away. And we're in a handicap spot, but we're allowed to because we are handicapped. Handicap proof. All right, so it's been about a half an hour. So I'm gonna pound this beer and make my way over to the emergency room. I just locked up Stauffer's car. And hopefully everybody's uh, doing all right. But I'm sure it's gonna take some time to get him out of there. But let's go over there and check on him. All right, Schlack got back up. But we're gonna have him lay back down for a little shot here. As you can see what he's been through is, you know, the tacks and the shoes were enough. But uh, hey man, he's a tough man. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to make sure you're okay and safe. <laughs> You seem fine. Gotta buddy. reverse pay the bills somehow. Uh, you know what I mean? Who's gonna pay for this? <laughs> the government. <laughs> Not me. Careful, you signed yourself out. All right, Slack is being checked out. out. We're gonna head out of here. Right. And no. here we go, man. Slack, what is your pain level tonight? Well, you start it. Rob Marsh, Carnage Cup. No pain? Nah. Mild pain? Uh. Moderate pain? No. Severe pain? No. I'm out. Worst pain possible. Six, 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 <laughs> Provider, uh, the IWA Mid South. Carnage Cup. Or Carnage Cup. Emergency. Alright, now this is a promo, dude. Ready? You're good. Hey! April 29th, Carnage Cup, room 666, patient, Rob Marsh. Zero? No pain? Nah. Mild pain? Nah. Moderate pain? Uh, about worst pain possible. Still here, hour later, piss break. Might as well take the time to remove some tacks from my sandals. Fucking damn it. Alright, we won't record all that. That's a lot of tacks on both sandals. 
Do a double. Stand next to you so we can both get it. What's the back one? Stop. Stop. Go back and come on. <laughs> <laughs> This is the behind the scenes. We were, we were doing a quick little, you know, intentional promo here. It was, it was worth it. It came out good. But uh, this is behind the scenes. Slack's doing okay, man. You know, he's I'm so alive, don't worry. You know, there's no God. Only, only Slack. Slack. Only me. Thank you, brother. We got sheets and gauze pads and everything we need. All right, so we're heading out here. Slack, loud, he's having some combo. We got Joe over here, Mr. Photographer. Yeah. And not, not only that, he makes some delicious sauces. <laughs> You gotta try to just south. <laughs> Yo, motherfucker, no, give me a ride home, it. bitch. I'm giving it, you better get in the car now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Doubling right. it up. Let's Thanks. get in here. Let's go. Let's, Let's get the fuck out of here, Let's man. Out first Medics. Got the, got the trunk pop. What's up? <laughs> Why is my camera blurring? <laughs> I hate when it does that. <laughs> All right, we finally arrived in Philly yeah. here. Getting Schlack home, we gotta get his belongings here. Joe can help him out. I know it's these shoes, and that's his book bag. Nope. Yeah. Right, nice. Alright, brother. <laughs> Love you, brother. Get it up. <laughs> Alright, I got shotgun in the blood. Later, Schlack. Bye, Stoffer. What time is it? I don't know. One o'clock in the morning. One o'clock in the morning. So much for getting home at 10. <laughs> yes, Thanks, GCW, and making Schlack almost die tonight. <laughs> God. All right, laddie. I'll see you, brother. Much love. Great seeing you. You too, brother. Good times, man. Got a man. bunch of hospital shit right here, too. Oh, you got the hospital gear protecting okay, the, protecting his future employees and fellow employees. All right, guys. I love you. Take care. See you, brother. All right, everybody. So I am now home. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. Unfortunately, Stauffer and Lowdy are still on the road. Not much farther from me, but uh, still the fact that, you know, Left around 12 now, it's one more. I mean, 12, 13 hours of this, uh, you know, for a wrestling show. It's a lot. <laughs> As a fan, it can take toll on you sometimes. And Stalford drove us all, and he was out fishing earlier that day. I don't think he knew it was going to last this long, but, you know, uh, he had a friend that was a need Schlack. Not only a friend, but a re we're all a fan of Schlack as a wrestler. He's a great, great performer, man. When a fellow wrestler's hurt, you know, and, you know, they live nearby you or, you know, they're friends with you. You, you do what you got to do for them, man. And, Stalford busts his ass sometimes for these companies, and I don't think he goes. I, I know he's appreciated, but sometimes I don't think he's that appreciated. He's one of the coolest men, nicest men I've ever met in my life, and uh, he's still very young. And I uh, just don't want people to ever take advantage of him because I've seen people do it before. And I'm not saying that anybody took advantage of him, but I mean, in the future, somebody could. Um, Schlack and them, obviously, very, they're, you know, friends. Schlack hooks him up with his tats and stuff. He does all that. First thing we all thought was when Schlack was hurt, you know, we look out for Schlack. Look out for any fellow wrestler. Um, it sucked that Schlack had to go through all that, but hey, you know, it was something we'll, I'm sure we'll, after being all tired, we'll all talk about in the future and, and have a good laugh about. Schlack, just glad to see you're okay, man. Um, he's going to sleep it off tonight, all of us, and, uh, you know, I don't know what to say. I'm kind of out of it, and I'm going to regret, like, watching this show now. I'm going to try to watch it, and I wasn't going to, but since I looked in this cooler that I brought with me, and there is one, one good craft beer left, the Victory Dirt Wolf, besides the two garbage natty ices that I was drinking. Tony Deppin knows what these are. These are delicious. He knows craft beers. Certain people appreciate them. Tony Deppin wasn't there, but I thought of him because he likes craft beers. Um, so as I pick out the rest of these thumbtacks in my shoes, I just want to say again, thank you, Danny, Brett, all the uh, GCW staff fans, everybody, for another ultimate show. It was, it was like nothing else, man. I mean, it's brutal, dude. Um, I love CZW, like I said before. I love OPW H2O. I love my Big Japan when I get that hook up online somehow to find current shows because Big Japan is like, that's what Game Changer reminds me of, but it's American version and it's all about ultra violent wrestling. And I'm going to continue to watch this stuff. I know what I'm saying. If I talk again, you know, like I said, stop judging, start loving. 
except for this one. Right, just be yourself. Meow. I got a fart. Mm. Yeah, it was brutal. But honestly, uh, before I forget, uh, the next show, as you can see on my son's head there, that's the OPW hat Laddie gave to me, but it doesn't fit my big head. But again, it doesn't really fit his big head, but he's a cardboard build, board cutout, so he doesn't have an excuse. But their next show is uh, Matt Treatment I talked about earlier. He's another part of the company, Survival of the Sickest. It is their tournament of death, basically. It is on May 6th, I believe it is, 7th or 6th, 6th. Be there, guys. It's going to be a great time. And uh, much love, again, to everybody, man. So I hope you feel better tomorrow morning. I hope everybody has to go to work tomorrow because Sunday shows are rough, man, when people got to get up. I get to wake up my kids and change diapers and shit, but I get to lay down in the bed and... You know, I said, I don't want to play with you today. I'm fucking tired. Daddy's tired, man. Daddy's got to spend all the time picking that fucking tax out of his goddamn sandals. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I keep repeating myself. I'm tired. I'm delusional. Good. I only talk for three and a half minutes. That's that's a new record. Usually I talk for like 15 minutes. Maybe I didn't hit record. I don't know. I'm out of it. But I'm going to watch this video for a little bit. And I love you all. And I love Ultimate uh, Ultra Violent Wrestling, man. I love professional wrestling in general. Indies especially. And I'm always going to keep going vlog and show you what's going on. So hopefully I got some good stuff and y'all take care. Meow. GCW. And there is no guy. Only Schlack. <laughs> take care guys. God damn it. Brand new Walmart sandals. Ten dollars man. Picking all these fucking tacks out of here. When am I going to learn not to wear fucking sandals to goddamn Ultra Violent shows man. These ones are a little thicker. They're not the 99 cent ones. These are 9.99, man. High roll in here, but yeah. There's the tax again. If you guys can't handle this shit, don't go. I still got some blood over my feet. I'm sure, yeah. I should probably clean that up, but you know, shit happens. Hey. Let's see. All right, for now, we'll throw these on some Burt Big, uh, Burt Big Japan death matches, uh, best of for now, so I don't forget. I don't know if I want to throw them out. Maybe keep them and put them in something. Uh. Alright everybody, so I did end up staying up, obviously you see the time now, and I did spend the time to watch the show, and I'm glad I did, because I mean, the mood set wouldn't be right tomorrow when I wake up with my kids, it's not the same thing, you know, I'm thinking like fucking diapers and formula and fucking, oh da da mama, gaga, goo goo, gaga shit, and uh, it's a different story in my life when it comes to uh, ultraviolet wrestling, uh, deathmatch wrestling, like I said, I just love going to these shows, I love the people there, um, it's always a great time, um, as I was younger, I used to watch ECW, and I never had the privilege to actually go in the back and actually record these. And as today, being able to vlog these shows is absolutely unbelievable to me, and I'm very thankful for it. Um, the show is great. I mean, there's always room for improvement. I mean, I'm always willing to take constructive, uh, constructive criticism when it comes to me making these videos. It's hard for me to capture the moments outside, capture the moments inside. I didn't go once backstage with the wrestlers at all, but I mean, most of them were hanging outside, so I mean, that was great. But, I mean, tonight, um, as you saw, uh, Jimmy Lloyd and Marcus Crane's match, um, I'm sure a lot of people are like, oh, that's garbage wrestling. I mean, yeah, they got tangled up a lot, dude. And, uh, you know, like today, is a light tube is like a, you know, headlock, arm and collar tie-up, a fucking suplex, a body slam. And back then, you know, even today, like these guys that do professional wrestling for their whole life and they make simple mis mistakes over and over again, they're not in the ring with, like, barbed wire boards and fucking sheets of glass and light tubes and you know there's going to be mistakes all the time I'm not saying it was the most pretty match in the world but it was very entertaining and uh, a lot of the matches were very entertaining and very well done um for for deathmatch wrestling you're gonna have those fans that you know i try to get a lot of my friends that are very hardcore into wrestling and they're just like man man like roh and like you know tna and of course wwe and i'm like that's cool i mean i enjoy that too but you got to open your mind up and watch all the styles out there today, man. You can't, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't listen to just one style of, rap, of music. I don't just sit there and listen to fucking classic rock and metal and country, punk rock, whatever. I listen to all genres of music, j even jazz sometimes, whatever I can find. You know, you open your fucking mind up, man. But um, like I said, there's always room for uh, for growth in uh, these companies. And wasn't the greatest show ever, but it was still entertaining from start to finish, dude. And uh, after coming off from uh, GCW's uh, Joey Janela Spring Break, which, by the way, if you guys have not seen, um, you can find it on flowslam.tv, F-L-O-S-L-A-M.tv, or on Smartmark Video, I'm sure on GameChangerWrestling.com or GCW.com, their, their uh, website. 
it reminded me of the old ECW days as I watched it. Um, that party atmosphere, the crowd was like unbelievable. And tonight we kind of had that, but it wasn't quite the same. It was still awesome as fuck, like always. I always have a good time at GCW. Great turnout tonight. But again, there's always room for improvement. And I'm not saying it was a bad show. I enjoyed it very much. It was a great fucking show. But there's going to be people that say, oh, that was shit, it was garbage. Well, get the fucking DVD and watch it professionally edited with like three cameras and let me know. There's a complete difference when it comes to my vlogs. So don't just sit there and judge on the vlogs because I don't capture all the, the stuff that goes on. It's a whole full show. There's commentary, everything. This is just an amateur basic vlog documentary for people who don't know what these companies are or who just can't afford the DVDs or just want to live the moment over, you know, and just watch it over time. Like, this won't be out for like four months. This will probably won't come out until, Christ, like after the summer's over. I still have a, a former GCW show to air or share with you guys on my uh, YouTube channel. And I have nothing but love for these uh, indie wrestlers, even the companies, everybody that like films them, everything. I, I'm never trying to make things difficult for other companies like Smart Mark or anything. I'm just doing it because I love it. I don't make shit from it. I think I brought in $70 in two years over my wrestling videos, but YouTube, we all know if you're YouTube familiar, the monetization isn't where it is. It's not <laughs> advertiser friendly. <laughs> exactly. When you see these death matches, I'll be lucky if I get an advertisement to pop up for those pennies every, you know, thousands of views. But uh, again, I, I love doing this and I hope to expand these companies and gain more people into it and just let it grow over time. And that's all I want to say. I'm just Thankful tonight that everybody got home safe. Hopefully, I don't know, I'm not in contact with everybody there. Last GCW show, a man was actually hurt. He got hit by a car, trying to catch a bus, and I actually talked to him for like a good hour. Still have no idea uh, how to reach him and see if he's doing okay. But I had a good conversation for on and off for like over an hour. Very nice man, and uh, he was trying to catch the bus. He came on a fucking bus, and he ran and got hit by a car. I don't know the whole story, but he really got hurt. Joey Janelle was trying to reach out to him too. Nobody like found out who he is or what's going on. And hope you're doing all right, buddy, if you ever see this. Because he told me he watches these, man. So contact one of us, dude. I'll have to get you in. Uh, if you're doing all right and you're able to walk and uh, go to Tournament of Survival, dude. Please contact me, man. I'll be more than happy to buy you a ticket, dude. I'll even give you my fucking front row ticket, man. So let me know, brother. You take care. Everybody take care. Much love. Stop judging. Start loving. Accept those hours. Be yourself. Yeah, I got to go to bed. Maybe I'll end it with a quick shot of my kids in the morning. But I need to go to fucking bed. Bye.